Hi, I've been thinking about this video for the last couple of days. I usually do before I sit down to record them. And this one was quite an easy one because it relates to the number of inquiries we've been having of a very similar nature. The only thing I couldn't think of was the name of the video. But when I was walking my dog, Henry, he's the one on the website. Um, I was listening to the radio and a song came on this morning and it was the clash with should I stay or should I go? Whilst that's a great song, it was also the perfect title for this video. So what are the questions I've been asked? Well, it's all around whether or not someone can do a deal right now. I think lockdown has certainly made people reevaluate what they want out of life. So lots of calls, similar questions. First question, are there buyers? Absolutely. There are lots of buyers out there. They were out there before lockdown and they're still out there now. And in fact, we have agreed a total deal from beginning to end during lockdown using Zoom meetings. So there are definitely buyers out there. And depending on the size of the deal, it depends on which buyers are apt and correct for that deal. So yes, there are buyers. What will I get? How do I get paid it? Is the next question. Well, most of the deals are based on a multiple of recurring revenues. And how you get paid it is a percentage of 50 or 60% on signing the deal and then equal payments after 12 and 24 months. That is pretty much the standard structure for a deal. It's not the only structure, there are other structures, but that is the standard, most common structure at the moment. But I always say something far more important to anybody who's thinking about selling. It's not just about the payment structure or how much you're gonna get paid. It is really truly about the cultural fit between you and the acquiring business. I've heard so many sellers say to me, and I know this myself, having been an IFA who sold his own business, the last thing I want to do is sell my business and then see a client walking down the street towards me and have to try and hide behind a lamppost. And I can understand that. I really can. I wouldn't want to do that either. So the cultural fit between the two companies is far more important than the number and how that number is paid. Then what sort of deals are there? Well, really there's lots of different deals because no two IFA businesses are the same. So there are no two deals which are the same. But fundamentally there are three core types of deal. The first of which is sell and leave fairly quickly after the deal is done. What the buyer wants is for you to hand over the clients to a new advisor and as soon as you've done that, you can leave the business and go off and enjoy your retirement. That's the first type of deal. The second type of deal is one where a lot of sellers want to stay involved in the business for a period of up to the two year payout post the deal. That's also possible. There are a lot of buyers who appreciate that. They'd like you on board because not only are you embedding the clients with the new company name, but you're also building the relationship between them and the new advisor who will be taking over from you as and when you're ready to step back. The most common time scale is two years because it ties up with the payment. That's not just about getting all the money out, it's also to make sure the deal works well for the buyer. It works for everybody. It works for the client, most importantly, they've been handed over and then nicely bedded in with the new company. It works for the buyer and it works for you, the seller. Now, the final deal, is one of those ones where there's a number of options, but it's sell and stay on. The most common reason for this is either one party in a company wants to leave the company and retire, and others aren't ready or aren't old enough to retire. So they're looking for a deal where they can now move forward with a new company. Everybody gets paid out, and those who want to stay can stay long term, more than two years, three, five, seven years. Some of the earliest deals we did on this basis, people are still there, they like it. The most common reason they like it is the other reason why people come to us with this sort of deal, which is they don't want to do certain things anymore. They don't want to be a property manager, an HR manager, an IT manager. 
and all the other things that people get dragged into whilst running a business. It's what we call the glue, and they want out of the glue, and they want to go back to just being an advisor. So selling now, taking something off the table, and working with a company that you feel comfortable with, because the cultural fit is correct, is ideal. They don't have to do the stuff they don't want to do, and they can enjoy what they do do, and the reason they started off in this is advising clients and working with clients. So that's the third type of deal. So in summary, are there deals to be done? Absolutely. Buyers are out there looking to buy. Sellers will get a good price at the moment. The market is buoyant for sellers because there are so many buyers looking to buy. And finally, you can structure your exit to suit your needs, what you want from it. Anyway, if some of that is of interest, should you stay? If you want to stay and you want help on how to run the business better, smarter, easier, all those things, please do get in touch. We do a lot of consultancy work on that basis with clients on a regular basis. If you want to go, then there are deals to be done. Get in touch for a confidential conversation and let's just chat and see where that goes. Anyway, till I speak to you, keep safe.